Good evening. It's time once again for the Barry Bird Show. Suck it to me. <laughs> Tonight, Barry reads a letter from a very special viewer. So once again, here's Barry. Oh, thank you, thank you. You're too kind. All right, let's take a look at this very special letter that we received here at QBBS TV. Barry, I read in Weekly Digest that you are the richest man in the Toaster City. Why are you the richest man, Barry, in the Toaster City? Why? Well, uh, uh... How can I become the richest man in Toaster City, Barry? Oh, well, first off, you're not a man. You're a girl thing. But how can I, Barry? Girl thing, just hold your horses and I'll explain. <laughs> All right, well, the answer is quite simple. You just need to build yourself a time machine. Where can I get one, Barry? Can I buy it at Big house? Uh, no, you can't. Just let me explain to you how this system works. As you may recall from show number two, I was able to use my machine to go back to 1964 to see the Beatles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are the Beatles? Uh, they were the first men to land on the moon. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I built a time machine from army surplus parts, but I discovered that I can only go back as far as the early 1960s. But that turned out to be okay. Barry, I don't understand. Uh, okay. Let me give you an example. A month ago, I fired up the time machine, and I ended up in 1968. I never really know what year it'll send me to. I only had a hundred bucks on me. So I flew over to Mr. Mike's Bikes, and I bought two $48 Stingrays. But Barry, that's a fish, ain't it? Ain't it, Barry? Yeah, yeah, but it's also a classic bicycle. Anyway, I came back to the present and sold them to a comic book collector for 2400 bucks. Wow, you doubled your money, Barry. That's good. Uh, then a week later, the machine sent me back to 1967. And with the 2400 I bought a new Mustang Fastback. Barry, why you buy a horse? Girl thing, it's a type of car. What's a car? Oh. Uh, it's a machine with four wheels that moves. <laughs> so once again, I returned to the present and sold it to a guy on eBay for $80,000. But there was just one problem. Problem, Barry? Car didn't work? No, the car was fine, but I accidentally brought back a hippie who had fallen asleep in the back seat. I can't believe I missed that. What's a hippo, Barry? I don't know. I guess it's some kind of guy with long hair who doesn't have a job or something. Anyway, he was pretty freaked out. Whoa, what happened, man? Where am I? And who are you? I'm Barry Bird. What are you doing in my car? Oh, man, you must be Big Brother. Don't arrest me, man. Like, wow, this is such a bring down. Hey, kid, I'm no cop. I just want to know why you were in my car. Hey, I hid in the back hoping to get a ride to San Francisco. Hey, like, where am I? Oh, you're in Toaster City, pal. No, man, I'm trying to get out of Toaster City because it's bringing me down. Look, kid, I'm not going to Frisco anytime soon, so you're going to have to find another way to get there. Oh, no, man, don't narc me out to the feds. Hey, I'm Barry Bird. I'm no narc. I'm just a guy with a TV show who... Oh, this is so negative. I'm splitting this fascist state right now before I freak out. Bad scene, man. Bad scene. Hey, kid, you dropped your flower. So, Barry, did Hippo go to San Frisco? No, girl thing. He stayed in Toaster City and became a door-to-door -door flower salesman. Hey, man, you want to buy a flower? Oh! Hey, bummer. So, Barry, you still making a lot of money? Well, I'm doing okay, but I think my time machine is about had it for now. No more trips back to the 60s until I can find some more surplus parts to fix it. Wow, that's a bad bummer, Barry. Well, girl thing, what's even a worse bummer is that we're out of time. So good night, everybody, and peace, baby. 
Wow, what a great show. We hope you enjoyed your evening with Barry Bird. Please tune in again next week. We have a wonderful show lined up for you. Thanks for tuning in, and good night, everybody. Thank you.